Billow here, talking about memory management and a technique that we don't think of as managing memories, but actually, here's how it works. If you have something that you remember a certain way, like maybe you remember that you couldn't learn how to swim. Okay, so now you think you don't know how to swim. Maybe it's true. But you also think you can't imagine a future where you could swim. Well, all you have to do is go out and get swimming lessons. Start at the beginning. If you do just a little bit, maybe learn to float, now you have a memory of floating. And so your memory of not being able to swim has a new memory, which is more recent. So what happens is that two things. Number one, as we build success, the memories of non-success become less powerful and indexed, and our memories indexed by the most recent. The more often we remember something, especially the more recently we remember it, the more likely we are to remember it again. And when we remember it, we experience it. So if you experience something more pleasant, more powerful, you will start to remember that instead. And even if we remember the unsuccessful times, they'll be mixed up with the newer, more powerful, successful times, more powerful because they're more recent. Now, if you can add, emo if you can add emotion to your new successes, that will make them even more powerful. Good luck.